I'd also like to point out it is really cold outside and here I am eating this ice cream. Oh no, I froze it too much. It's got this weird, okay, mm, that's okay. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Chen. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We would love it so much. But yeah, as you guys can see from the title, today we will be eating like 17 for the day. This is it. 17. We are 17. If you guys don't know who they are, they are an internationally famous K-pop group. And they got a lot of members. There's Mingyu, Jun, Eskoops, Wano, DK, The Eight, Jonghan, Sungwan, Dino, Joshua, Woozy, Hoshi, Vernon to make up all 13 members of the group. So, got a lot of members, they eat a lot of food. Uh, as I was writing down everything they ate, I was thinking, wow, this is way more than I eat in a day. What am I going to do besides bulge out of my pants? Everyone in town loves my tight pants. I got my tight pants. I got my tight pants on. But basically, I think the video kind of went around just seeing what they typically all eat in a day individually. So obviously I am not a boy group of many members. I am just one human being. And so I decided to kind of give you the idea of what they eat in a day. And instead of eating everything, I'm just gonna pick out uh, think items from their meals. I'm excited. Let's get started. So we are starting off our 17 filled morning. I'm clearly fresh and out of bed. I haven't put on any makeup or anything yet. So we are looking great. For breakfast, the boys do salad or McDonald's, which are kind of opposite ends of the spectrum in my opinion. Assuming that when they have a comeback or something, they eat more on the healthier side. And then when they're kind of like allowed to have a free for all, they do the McDonald's. I personally don't eat breakfast. Um, I don't wake up hungry. It's not really my thing. So I'm gonna stick with the salad, it's a bit on the lighter side. He drinks iced Americanos or cold brew. I do have some cold brew in the fridge, so I will be drinking some of that. S. Coops does green tea. When he's not on a diet, he does a latte. I drink green tea and lattes. I'm a big latte lover. Joshua does capsule coffee, so I will be integrating that later on because I finally did get a capsule coffee machine. And Dino drinks jasmine tea, which I also drink. I drink a lot of tea. Uh, especially on weekends when I try to not drink coffee. I drink a lot more tea. Today, for the sake of this video and being fully 17 integrated, I will be drinking more coffee than I usually do on a normal Sunday. So, let's get started on to breakfast. With my breakfast essentials ready, I picked up a salad at the supermarket. This is from Pig in the Garden, which is a, like a chain here in Korea. And I picked up a quinoa and basil salad. I've never had their salads before, so I'm eager to try. And then also I have my cold brew ready. This is a Paul Gon. It has dark chocolate toffee, milk powder, and brown sugar. I like this one quite a bit. It's a bit on the darker side. And then I have some almond milk. Pretty good. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish up all of this and then I'm going to go about my day and then we will have lunch during lunchtime. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, so it's late afternoon. I actually wasn't hungry because I think I ate that breakfast. So now it's time for lunch. So for lunch, the boys apparently do a lot of Coke Zero. I don't actually drink soda, but for this video, I went out and I bought myself a Coke Zero. And you know, we're gonna do it. We're gonna dive right into it. So in the video, I think they basically just stated what they had for lunch recently rather than what they have for lunch every day because obviously that is subject to change. Vernon has a cheese tonkatsu which is a cheese pork cutlet. Dino had some rice cake with dumplings. Wanu had kimchi fried rice. Now I love kimchi fried rice. So we will be doing that. We will be doing my take on kimchi fried rice so it's obviously my version. I do have kind of like a you know like a fusion style if you will. Okay, we're about to start Chen's cooking show. I have all my ingredients prepped here. We got our rice, pork, kimchi, green onion, seaweed, egg, sesame seed, white pepper powder, oyster sauce. ASMR. Okay, so 
so we have our kimchi fried rice. I did it really Korean style. I put a fried egg on top and then we have some seaweed as well. And so we are going to eat this. I also have my Coke Zero crushing it. That's very sweet, even though it's zero sugar. But guys, uh, kimchi fried rice or kimchi bokumbap in Korean is one of my go-to meals when I am too lazy to really cook something but still need something hearty to eat. It's like you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this. It's so good. I highly recommend if you guys don't already like to try this yourselves at home. It's super simple to make and so delicious. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about the meals. I could do without the soda, to be honest. I think after this, uh, we'll go for a, a little light snack. Okay, it is post-lunch, a little before dinner. It's about 5.30, and this is usually around the time I start getting a little peckish myself, so we're going to dig into their snack drawer. Mingyu says he does a yogurt ice cream. So I went and picked me up one of these from the convenience store. I have never picked out this personally. Uh, I don't think I've tried yogurt ice cream yet in Korea. This will be interesting. I don't know what yogurt ice cream is supposed to taste like. He says that he eats this or like milk ice cream. I couldn't find milk ice cream. Otherwise I would have probably gone for that one, but we're going with this yogurt one. Um, they also do chips and nuts. I actually don't have any chips at home, not because I don't eat them, but because I already ate them. <laughs> so I don't have any at home right now. And then, but I do have some nuts. I got these mixed nuts as well. And just pop it open. It's got a cone, obviously. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm making such a mess. Okay. to venture outside I'm in my jammies <laughs> let's go get food mask on we picked up dinner following 17's dinner plans they asked the members what they ate for dinner and all the members kind of had different answers so Vernon had sundeguk with some wine Wanu had chicken breast with some water Mingyu grilled some meat and then Dino had eel over rice what I decided to go with was S. Coops and the Eights uh, recommended dinner choice because they kind of had the same theme going. So S. Coops had jajangmyeon and rice with Coke Zero and the Eight just said Chinese food. If you guys don't know, jajangmyeon is Chinese food. <laughs> um, it's essentially a black bean sauce paired with noodles and Korean people love it. It's kind of like the go-to here. My favorite restaurant is actually right by my house. and It's more of a Chinese style versus Korean and Chinese. A Chinese takeout here is pretty is very Koreanized, much like in America. Like Chinese takeout is not really Chinese food. It's like Americanized Chinese food. So in Korea, it's kind of the same thing. So the restaurant I actually go to is not owned by Koreans, so it's much more authentic to Chinese food that I know. Let me just show you guys. So first we have the noodles. They come bare like this when I get a takeout. And then it comes with this black bean sauce. Okay, so here we have the noodles. We have the black bean sauce. We also have these, this is chicken that I like to order from this restaurant as well. And they said Chinese food, so I figured like I can just order whatever I want in terms of Chinese food. Um, and then you just take this sauce. Be careful not to get it everywhere. Oh my god, I'm gonna get it everywhere. Okay, comes out like this. It's got onions, meat, and black bean sauce. It's kind of like a soy sauce kind of situation. And you just kind of dump it in. This one also has some zucchini in it, so it's got some vegetables. Okay, it's, it's this could get messy, so be careful. And then, to really get it mixed in there, close this, and just shake it. Da -da -da all mixed in. 
So remember Dino said he likes to drink jasmine tea? Bruin. This place is so good. I wish you guys could like be here and like really experience this with me. Hey guys, so it is late night and here's the thing. I am very full. Um, I don't think I can eat anymore without making myself feel sick. So I'm just gonna not. But I did want to show you guys what I was going to eat. If you don't know, in Korea, there's something called boonshik, which is essentially like late night snack food. And I say the word snack very, very lightly because it is their meals. Topoki, which is rice cakes and kind of like a spicy sauce. And I actually bought it right here. I was going to make it as part of the video, but honestly, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> the 17 boys say they eat ramen and dopoki late night, and I feel them. I My stomach just can't. I think what it is, because I, I essentially just ate three meals, but lunch and dinner were so heavy, and I think I overestimated portion control, uh, so that was my bad. But if you guys are in Korea or you're not in Korea, you can find this in any Korean grocer and you can make it yourself or a Korean restaurant, they, they probably serve it. But this is really, really delicious. I eat dopoki quite often, so recommended for sure. I had to just reference everything within the one video. So it's not, it was really different from what I usually eat in terms of just the balance of meals, uh, they eat, I think because they're obviously like strong growing boys and they work out a lot, they eat a lot of heavier foods than I normally do. They didn't like reference any fruit. So maybe if I turned my morning salad into a fruit salad, that could have been really good. I, I was like kind of missing that food group today, but I'm sure they eat it throughout the day. It's just obviously it was, it was just kind of like, I had to really reference only that video for the sake of this video. But um, yeah guys, I mean these boys are, they're eating well, like that's all I gotta say. They all obviously have the things they really like to eat and you can kind of tell um, their diets based on what they all individually said. I will link the video down below if you guys want to watch their video and see what they are up to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me eating like 17 for today. And that is all. In the meantime guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!